Hi everyone, it's Jen again, and I'm going to be making this week's video pretty short, uh, partially because I don't have a whole lot to talk about. This week was just working on Bond Sprites, um, nothing really new to talk about on that front. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really been doing a lot of his thoughtful um, development. I've been more in just production autopilot mode where I have been just focusing on working on the art and zoning out <laughs> to various podcasts and even joining the Ot Indie Ultimate Discord a bit more. Uh, went to one of their um, art uh, lives the other night and that was pretty fun just um, working on rigging bailiff sprite while other artists there were also talking about their projects and just kind of musing so it was a little bit of that socializing that I used to do when I was working on art at a very vigorous pace when I was in college it kind of brought me back to those days so that was pretty fun I will leave a um, link to the Indie Otome discord for the, anyone who might be interested in joining the community I've been finding it a really great place for somebody who has been a long time lurker on discord and has never really um, felt the, the, the nerve to, to really start jumping in and participating I found the Indie Otome space to be a really uh, welcoming and um, easy place to just kind of start getting involved in conversations that I always kind of felt like I was intruding on other communities. I don't know, I, I just had a hard time like joining in um, for whatever reason, just probably shyness and um, anxiety, social anxiety of some kind. Um, anyways. Uh, I just wanted to make this video to let everybody know that <laughs> I'm okay <laughs> and that I'm just doing the same old, same old this past week. Um, life has been uh, a bit stressful and I have been struggling with some stomach issues and there's a lot of people in my life who are also struggling with their own um, stress so it does build up like I tend to be a bit of a sponge where uh, when people are stressed around me then I kind of absorb that energy and I also become kind of stressed and I don't want to say that it's too much um, I don't really think it's gotten to that point um, but it is just another phase in life I think um, that we all just have to endure together and hopefully come out the other side stronger. Um, one of the sayings that like my mom would always say is this too shall pass. <laughs> so um, as I grow older, a lot of times as things change, because nothing ever does stay the same, a lot of it gets harder, I'll be honest. I think when people talk about getting older, um, a lot of times it's more in the context of like, I don't know, losing your agility, whether that be mental and physical agility and losing your youthfulness, <laughs> whatever that means. Um, really it's the weight of responsibilities and um, maybe a little bit of weariness of just the uh, struggles in life that can make uh, some people get downtrodden. Um, and to, to focus on those hardships, um, it becomes difficult sometimes, I'm not going to lie, to, I don't know, uh, maintain a positive uh, attitude, especially when your support systems start to become strained. A lot of people my age and older are also struggling. Um, as opposed to people who are younger might have older people to support them even in their early adulthood um, at least I guess I was fortunate enough to have parents that were um, pretty supportive throughout uh, my young adulthood and friends who 
We had our own personal struggles, but I think it was more on an individual basis. You didn't have the responsibility of other people to be responsible for, I guess. And as you grow older, you become responsible if you have children, to be responsible for them. Um, pets, <laughs> if you have pets, or if you know people who have pets who suddenly can't care for their pets anymore, um, that responsibility might turn, might, might become yours. Um, older folk who need help um, because they are struggling to be able to do the things for themselves um, physically and mentally. Uh, right now I'm in that what they call sandwich generation where I'm still um, you know I'm still trying to provide for myself financially and then I have um, people who are younger than me that I'm trying to support, whether it be my family or just younger people who are looking for mentorship, um, trying to be a positive uh, force that can kind of help to encourage them um, by sharing some of my life experience and the things that have worked for me. And then also having older folk who uh, who need support um, for the other reasons that I mentioned. So that's kind of where I am this week. Um, I know that most of my content is all development, but again, every now and then I am going to talk a little bit more about uh, the things that happen around me um, because I am my work. And so um, my work has kind of a, I guess, reflection of where I am in my life. Um, this is my place to decompress. This is my place to, I guess, do some self-healing and um, processing a lot of my emotions. So I think that, you know, especially in the modern day age where we're so bombarded by so much information and so much stuff, um, there is a temptation to kind of just like check out, to shut everything down, to just kind of veg. Um, and that is the kind of escapism that I used to really rely on heavily to, um, to regulate myself in the past. Um, these days, I really try to lean in on um, the people around me, I guess, building community. Um, and working on my projects and working on my projects is another way that I try to build community um, because again as I've also said in the past because of my um, my uh, I guess social anxieties and things um, I guess a less uh, a more blunt way of putting it my um, my neurosis. So I have, I'm adopted and I do believe that that has led to somewhat of an insecure attachment um, that I have and uh, kind of a, yes, a, a strong neurosis um, towards overthinking of uh, catastrophic thoughts about both my relationships with other people and just my existential existence in general. <laughs> and um, these are all things that uh, I find ways of coping with and trying to, I guess, convert negative energy into positive um, outcomes. I like to think of things uh, as rationally as I can. Um, to say to myself, is this productive or isn't this, is this not productive? And um, if it's not productive, how can I make it into something productive? Uh, but at the end of the day, we are very emotional creatures, all of us. Um, we are primarily driven by emotion. And I feel like a lot of logic is just post-talk rationalization. So I recognize that in myself. And I don't really know where I'm going with this video. I just, um, I don't know, I guess I just try to put myself out there and hope that other people can relate to some of the things that I say, even if I don't always have a very clear, defined point, 
to at least know that they're not alone and that um, yeah, life is kind of always going to be like a journey of ups and downs and I think that for me I realized that that's okay. Um, that I accept that um, that's where I am right now and I'm still going to try to make the most of it because I can't just wake up every day hoping that things will get better. I have to live with what I have. Um, so that's where I am right now. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has had encouraging words for me and has um, connected through my projects because that does really help me get through uh, times like this. And um, yeah, I hope that uh, that everyone has a similar opportunity to reach out to other people to help them get through their uh, hard times because uh, I would believe that we're always stronger when we're uh, together. All right, take care, have a good week, and don't forget to enjoy the process. Bye.